as I explained earlier, it is highly probable, especially if he exhibited a key symptom of the condition bago siya bumagsak. So, Dr. Pilapil, based on your testimony, ibig po ba sabihin na 100% ang cause ng pagkamatay ng biktima ay aneurysm? No, attorney. What I'm saying is that there is a 50-50 probability that there is a ruptured pre-existing aneurysm dahilan ng subarachnoid hemorrhage of the victim. But doctor, you also admit na wala po kayo dun sa lugar ng insidente para ma-prove ang sinasabi ninyong probability. Objection, Your Honor. The counsel knows she's crossing an expert witness and not an eyewitness. Attorney Simmons knows that. Sustained. Any more questions, Attorney Simmons? No further questions, Your Honor. Redirect, Attorney Matias. Yes, Your Honor. Dr. Pilapil, kung sinasabi nyo na may 50-50 probability, paano nyo mapapatunayan sa korting ito ang posibilidad na pre-existing ruptured aneurysm ang ikinamatay ni Dexter? I recommend na ma-review ang kanyang autopsy and medical records. Ay, baka nga dati na may sakit yung Dexter. So ano? Nagsisinungalin sila? Tama na! Huwag kayo nang pag-usapan ng anak ko. Order! Order in the court! Wala kayong karapatan pag-usapan ng sakit ng anak ko! <laughs> Your Honor, as per recommendation of the expert witness, may I request a review of Dexter Montenola's medical history report and autopsy to be diagnosed and assessed by at least two medical investigation experts. We will be formally offering those documents as part of our additional pieces of evidence and may I present the medical experts as our additional witnesses as we made the required reservations during pre-trial, Your Honor. Granted, Attorney Matias. We will include that in the order. That would be all, Your Honor. <laughs>